The ceiling parts. Light burns my eyes. I clamp them shut as the floor of my cell rises upward till, with a click, it stops and I rest, exposed on a flat stone surface. I push out my legs and gasp, nearly fainting from the pain. Joints crack. Knotted tendons unspool. I fight to reopen my eyes against the raging light. Tears fill them. It is so bright I can only catch bleached flashes of the world around. Fragments of alien voices surround me. Adrius, what is this? Has he been in there this whole time? The stench! I lie upon stone. It stretches around me to either side. Black, rippling with blue and purple, like the shell of a Creonian beetle. A floor? No. I see cups. Saucers. A cart of coffee. It's a table. That was my prison. Not some hideous abyss, just a meter-wide, twelve-meter-long slab of marble with a hollow center. They've eaten inches above me every night. Their voices, the distant whispers I heard in the darkness. The clatter of their silverware and plates, my only company. Barbaric. I remember now. This is the table the jackal sat at when I visited him after recovering from the wounds incurred during the iron rain. Did he plan my imprisonment even then? I wore a hood when they put me in here. I thought I was in the bowels of his fortress. But no, thirty centimeters of stone separated their suppers from my hell.